you another uh, permanent collection that MAG came up with, uh, which is not too long ago really. It's called the Pro Longwear Collection and I have a few things to show you. They came up with paint pots, um, a new concealer and new foundation shades for the Pro Longwear Collection and uh, some eyeliners too, which are permanent as well. But I'm going to start off with the eyeliner which I've been obsessed with. This is the Pro Longwear Eyeliner. This one here is called Devotion, just like a very, very dark green color. But it kind of looks black, but it does have like a greeny flex to it. And I also got four paint pots. I wanted to work with more paint pot colors. And I'm just really, really excited for these, uh, that they finally have actually more colors to work with. So I got Taylor Gray, which is a, a dark beige color. I also got Stormy Pink, which is a purpley color, like a dark purple. If you want to create like a purple smoky eye, this is perfect base for it. I also got Perky, which is like a salmon-y pink color, which is beauty. I love this. And this is Clear Water, which is my favorite one from the whole entire collection because it's a nice turquoise color. Now I'm going to go into collections. Uh, the first collection I'm going to go in is the Indulge collection. And I have two things that I don't, like, took off the packaging, so I'm going to start off with these. So this is my ultimate favorite lip gloss. And I do know that MAC has something like this, maybe Rebel could be a, a close hit to this one, which is very nice. And this is called Lust for Life, which is a dark uh, purpley mauve kind of a color. I also have an eyeshadow from the Indulge collection. This is called Sex and the Oyster, which is a grayish blue. I also have three more shadows from the Indulge collection. I have Palace Big Bid Read, Big Read, I don't know how to spell this one, I'm sorry. But it's like a nice mauve again, um, a dark purpley color. I would kind of um, compare it to a Shadowy Lady is kind of dark and Blackberry it is lighter, so maybe Sketch if I'm not mistaken. Three Ring Yellow, which looks like that. It kind of looks like Lucky Green a little bit, except this is a bit lighter. Maybe if you want to see it next to Bitter, it will look nice. And I also got Guilty Marcel. Marcel. <laughs> and this is how it looks like. And I know MAC has a similar one to this one, which I don't really know by heart, I'm sorry. But it's kind of like a goldy uh, beige shadow. And this is a luster one. Oh, I forgot to tell you the finishes of the other one. Three Ring Yellow is actually a Velux Pearl. And uh, Palace. The pig reed. <laughs> this is a satin finish. I also have a lipstick from this collection, which I love. This is called Mash Hit, which is a dazzle lipstick. Which I don't own any dazzle lipsticks from Mac, and I was really happy to find this because it's such a glittery lipstick. It's just frosty, glittery. It's like all in one, and I liked it because it's like unicorn colors in it, which I really liked. A lot and I love to pop this in like the middle of the lip. I also got a cream uh, blush which I've been experimenting lately with and I've been in love. Um, this is this is called Tease Your Tastes which MAC does have a lot of cream blushes and there's one that's actually very similar to this one if you are wondering and it's just like a nice um, I don't know how to describe this color really it's like a what a purple a pink brown. It's like a mix of all in there. Another collection, it's actually a collection that you guys are going to go cray cray on, which is a limited collection. It, it was sold out with it like two days. It was completely sold out. And it is the Riwi Heart MAC collection. Good news, I'm going to let you guys know that there's actually a Riwi Heart holiday collection that MAC is actually doing. And it's Super nice, super super nice. I did see the colors and I'm telling you, you guys are going to go cray cray on as well. I have two things from the Riri Heart collection but not in the packaging because I do work at MAC and I do have employee advantages of course. So I have the uh, 4 palette or the quad or the, I don't know how you call this one, what do you call this? 
This is the eyeshadow times four shadows, and this is in her cocoa. I also have Riri Rue, which is very very similar to Ruby Rue. If you guys are wondering if you have Ruby Rue, I'm gonna give you a swatch, which is a nice red, and that is how it looks like. On to the actual Mac packaging. I have two lipsticks, a lip liner, two of her blushes, and one. Um, how do you call this? I call these beauty powders because this is how they used to call them. I don't know if they changed the name of them. So I'm going to start off with the lipsticks. Normally, this is how the MAC packaging looks like for the Riri Heart collection. It's just a uh, rose gold packaging, metallic -y, very light reflected. Do you see? I'm blinding you guys. Ha <laughs> Okay, so I do have two colors in here. I have Talk That Talk and Nude. I'm going to show you nude and plus show you the packaging of this collection. It is... No! Sorry, I don't have the best voice ever. But it is such a nice packaging for this collection. It's like a rose gold. It's so nice. It has like the really packed, like light pink and dark pink writing on it. It's, so when you open it up, you this is the lipstick. And you also have really engraved in the lipstick. See? And that is the nude one. I really liked it on my skin tone. It was really, really nice. Um, her lipsticks are retro matte, except that Who's That Chick, which was a, a frosty orange one. So Talk That Talk, it is a dark, dark, very dark purple. kind of looks brown. This is how it looks like. Uh, since I don't own a dark, dark purple lip liner, I decided to get Talk That Talk lip liner. This is the pencil packaging, which is all pink, with the really pink written in it, and the rose gold detailing to it too. And that's the lip liner swatch for you guys. Moving on with the face products from the Riri Heart collection. I have two of the blushes. I have the powder one and the, the cream one. I have diamonds, diamonds which is a, the cream one. This is how the packaging of this product is. Rose gold again, pink label. Oh, and I just touched this, kind of like a little 3D-ish motion going on. This is how it looks like. And it is a nice creamy product which is perfect to apply like as highlight if ever you want to. It's so nice. You can use on your T-zone, on your eyes, on your cheeks. Really nice product. Love it. And I also got her Bad Girl Gone Good blush, which is a dark, uh, I would say like a brownsy-ish. This one is very similar to Copper Tone, if you're wondering. As you guys all know, Copper Tone is my favorite blush from MAC, so I was really happy to get this one. Another thing, it is the big beauty powder that I had to get because it's so original. Uh, this is called Hypsis Kiss, which is a completely um, mirror kind of a product. You can literally see myself in here. This is how it looks like. Let me show you. you guys, could you see that? That is awesome. I did not know that. I'm having too much fun. It looks like, and when you open it up, there's a mirror, of course, and you have the half-half uh, product in here. So you have Riri graved in there, which is the bronzer part, and then you have the pink part at the bottom that you can use as blush and contour or you can mix both together and this is a very well thought product. Another little collection that is MAC having right now which is called Night Divine. I only have two things from this collection. I have the mineralized blush which the collection actually it's based about mineralized um, face products and lipsticks are kind of different and also cream sheen glosses in there too and some eyeliners. So, um, I got this one. This is called Lured to Love, which is a matte black packaging with gold uh, like writing on it. Peachy mineralized blush, like a peachy pink. And I also got a satin lipstick in Private Party. It's like a dark uh, purple, but it's not really that dark and it's not really too light. I don't know how to explain this color, but it's like a purple color. And um, the packaging of this is like a matte black with gold... Um, twisty label thing. I don't know how to call that. But this is how it looks like. It's so nice. And it's so Christmassy. And this is how it looks like. It kind of looks like Talk Dot Talk, but this is frosty and this is matte. So yeah, if ever 
you want to and also since like nude is limited um, there's actually a nice brown one from the Night Devon collection that's very close to the nude except it's frosty it's not matte so if ever you missed out on this on the talk that talk and nude you have private party and the other brown one from the Night Divine if you want to check it out which is awesome I have awesome stuff to show you I went to the Mac Pro store which is the artistic makeup store. I don't work in the Mac Pro store. I, I do work in the Mac store. I was so happy to go into the Mac Mac Pro store because they have they had the Rick Baker collection and they had artistic makeup. Since like we're on October and I've been creating Halloween makeup, I really wanted something to stay on longer. So I bought a few things from there. I didn't buy anything from the Rick Baker collection. Um, unfortunately, I really wanted to. It wasn't in my budget, but I bought a few things that I always wanted from the Mac Pro store. So I got a paint stick in pure white. Um, I know Mac used to carry this in foundations at one point, but they don't have them anymore. But it's just a like a huge lipstick, really. And it's just a white cream product that you can put on the face. And I wanted a, a paint stick. Since it's creamy, I can blend with my fingers. I also got a chroma cake which is a water active product or mixing medium active product which is just a huge white face paint really like that and this is called pure white as well just a white product it is filled to the top it's cray cray I love this stuff it's gonna really last me forever and they have this one and the face paint the face st uh, the paint stick there you go in so many colors if you guys are wondering also got their uh, set powder in trans in invisible which is uh, it's like a loose powder kind of thing just to set in the makeup I liked this one really because um, when I tried it on it did have like some white powder to it which I wanted one like this for like white face stick to really set in the 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 white um, whether it's a chroma cake or the pink stick but this is, has a little bit of white in it so I wanted to have a little bit of color in there as well so I got this one it's like huge that's how it looks like I also got four eyeliners that are very cray cray colors so the first one is just regular really but it is these are the chromographic pencils I got NC15 and W20 which is you know concealer and foundation shades which I could use for my waterline, it's, like it's like a skin tone liner. I also got Genuine Orange. I always wanted an orange, a yellow, and a red eyeliner for some reason. And while I grabbed these, I was in the car, I'm like, wait a minute, I kind of got colors that's very similar to my room. Don't ask. <laughs> Just an orange eyeliner. And you can use these on the face, on the eyes. So that is how it looks like. I got a red one, which is basic red. Here. I also got a yellow one, which I've always wanted a yellow eyeliner really, and this is called Primary Yellow. Did I just break it? I just broke the tip off. Damn it. I wanted to give you a swatch. Oh, I can still do so. This is how it looks like. I also got two Pro lip colors, which we don't have in my store. I got Violetta and Flesh, Flesh Pop. I always wanted Violetta for some reason. In Violetta, it is an amplified. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this is how it looks like. It's like a pure, nice purple lipstick. It's amazing. Let me find. Let me see if I can find a spot. This is how Violetta looks like. The flesh pot, which is a skin tone kind of color which is light. It's kind of like Honey Love, except this is lighter than Honey Love. Like so. Let me see if I can find an empty spot to swatch this. Right here, the corner. See? This is how it looks like. It has a little bit of pink. I don't know if you guys could see it. I'm really sorry if you can't. But this is how it looks like. Damn it, I can't really find a good angle for this. There we go. This is like my winter nude lipstick. I'm gonna wear this a lot. I'm, I'm warning you guys. I'm warning you in advance. So this is everything I got from MAC uh, products and more to come, that's for sure. I'm really excited to actually put this all away in my new 
makeup organizer that I have here. I will be doing a makeup collection for you guys very very soon and how I organize my makeup and how I put everything together and stuff and show you my new uh, little baby here that I have for my new make for my makeup stuff. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments on below down there. Um, don't be shy to ask anything you want. Let me know what do you have in mind and what do you want to know about Mac and stuff. I will try to answer you as soon as I get the chance to. Um, I'll probably answer you through the comments as well. So keep your eye on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my breath. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I have to go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys later. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everyone.